If you are exercising consistently, watching your diet, but the scale refuses to budge, you are experiencing one of the most frustrating aspects of weight loss, and it's not your fault. Science reveals that your body is literally programmed to fight against weight loss through sophisticated biological mechanisms that have evolved over millions of years. When you lose weight, your metabolism doesn't just slow down proportionally, it crashes dramatically. Research published in prestigious journals show that metabolic adaptation caused your resting metabolic rate to drop more than expected based on your new body size. This means someone who weighs 150 pounds after losing 50 pounds will burn significantly fewer calories than someone who naturally weighs 150 pounds. This phenomena, called adaptive thermogenesis, is your body's evolutionary response to perceived starvation. Your metabolism can decrease by up to 20 to 25 percent during weight loss, making further progress increasingly difficult. Scientific modeling reveals that most people hit their first major plateau around six months, not due to metabolic slowdown alone, but due to the complex interaction between biological adaptation and behavioral factors. Increasingly, research show that intermittent lack of diet adherence rather than pure metabolic adaptation is often the primary contributor to early plateau. Leptin, your satiety hormone produced by fat cells, decreases as you lose weight. Stanford University research demonstrate that lower leptin level mean you literally cannot feel full after eating the same amount of food that previously satisfied you. Many overweight individuals also develop leptin resistance where high leptin levels fail to suppress appetites effectively. Ghrelin, also known as hunger hormone, increases dramatically during weight loss. Studies show that ghrelin levels can remain elevated for up to a year after weight loss, creating persistent hunger signal that drive overeating and weight regain. Chronic stress elevates cortisol level which directly promote fat storage, particularly around the midsection. University College London research found that people with higher hair cortisol level indicating chronic stress have significantly larger waist circumference and higher BMI. The stress cortisol weight gain cycle becomes self perpetuating when weight loss efforts create additional stress. Stanford Medical School research revealed that sleeping less than 6 hours per night increases ghrelin by 28% and decreases leptin by 18%. Sleep deprivation creates a perfect storm of hormonal changes that promotes weight gain. Increased appetite due to elevated ghrelin, reduced satiety from decreased leptin, higher cortisol from sleep stress, impaired glucose metabolism leading to insulin resistance. Recent groundbreaking research identified Reptin, a newly discovered sleep-induced hormone that suppresses appetite and is only released during quality sleep. Sleep deficiency directly impairs Reptin production contributing to obesity. Northwestern Medical Research has identified over 400 genes linked to weight management. These gene influences metabolic rate and energy expenditure, appetite regulation and satiety signal, fat storage pattern and distribution, response to diet and exercise intervention. Genetic variation can account for 40 to 70 percent of obesity risk, explaining why some people struggle more with weight loss despite similar effort. Here are some science-backed solutions to break through plateaus. Prioritize protein and resistance training. Protein has the highest thermic effect of all macronutrients, requiring 20 to 30 percent of its calories just for digestion. Combined with resistance training, adequate protein intake, 20 to 30 grams per meal, helps preserve muscle mass and boost metabolic rate. Number two is strategic eating pattern. A comprehensive BMJ meta-analysis of 99 randomized trial found that alternate day fasting was the most effective intermittent fasting approach for weight loss. However, the key is creating a sustainable caloric deficit through any method that works for your lifestyle. Number three is sleep prioritization. Prioritize seven to nine hours of quality sleep to regulate hunger hormone naturally. Create optimal sleep condition, cool dark room, consistent bedtime, and avoid screens before bed. Number four is stress management. Implement evidence-based stress reduction techniques such as meditation, yoga, or regular walking to lower cortisol level. Chronic stress management can be as important as diet and exercise for weight loss success. 
Number five is hydration and fiber strategy. Research show that drinking water before meal can reduce caloric intake by up to 13%. Soluble fibers help regulate appetite and blood sugar level making it easier to maintain a caloric deficit. Number six is precision tracking. Use food scale and tracking app for at least two to three weeks to identify hidden calories. Studies reveal that most people underestimate their calories intake by 20 to 40% even when they believe they are being accurate. Number seven is consider implementing diet break or refeed to help reset hormone levels and prevent excessive metabolic adaptation. Some research suggests that intermittent calorie restriction may be more effective than continuous restriction for long-term success. Weight loss plateau aren't a sign of personal failure. They are a predictable biological response to energy restriction. Your body's sophisticated system for maintaining energy balance evolved to prevent starvation, not to help you fit into smaller clothes. Success requires working with your biology, not against it. By understanding the science behind weight loss resistance and implementing evidence-based strategy, you can overcome these biological barriers. The key is patience, consistency, and realistic expectation about the timeline for sustainable changes. Thanks for watching. If you find this content helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting science updates.